What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to talk about open carry, constitutional carry, as well as open carry with training for some of the things that they're trying to pass here in South Carolina. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're gonna be talking about a couple of things uh, that they are trying to pass here in South Carolina just because I wanna try to kill some of these myths and misinformation that's getting uh, passed around throughout the news media, newspapers, online, all that stuff. All right, cause there's a lot of misinformation that's getting thrown out and thrown around around all this stuff, okay? All right, so the three things that they are trying to get past is they're trying to get past open carry with training, open carry, and constitutional carry. All right, those are the three things that they are trying to get past. Uh, from my understanding, the last I looked as of today, which is for this video, it is May 6th. I'm pretty sure the constitutional carry bill has been shot down. I don't think that's going to make it anywhere. Uh, they have tried it in the past. I want to say this is, what, the third or fourth time that they've tried uh, passing the constitutional carry here in South Carolina, and it just never gains any traction. If you really want to sit down and try to get down to the nitty gritty of why, well, let's be honest, it boils down to money. Uh, there's pretty close to 500,000 CWPs in this state, if not over that by now. Uh, I know the last numbers I looked at was four and some change, a little over 450,000 um, at 50 bucks a pop. It's a lot of money. I mean, let's, let's factor out, say, 100,000 conservative because disabled veterans, if you did not know this, disabled veterans, you are exempt from the $50 fee. Um, and then law enforcement, retired or active law enforcement uh, is exempt from that fee. So let's just say 400,000 CWPs in this state. At 50 bucks a pop, that's what, $20 million that they're throwing away? So let's be honest. If you, would you throw away $20 million? You know, we can, now we can sit here and go on and talk about Second Amendment infringements. I, hey, I'm right there with you. I think having to take a class to get a permit is a crock. I think that is an infringement, but unfortunately right now, till more people speak up, it's, that's the way, that's what it's going to be. That, if you want to be legal to conceal carry in this state, you're going to have to get a permit. Uh, now we can start this whole argument, you know, Second Amendment doesn't say right to bear arms once I get a permit. I know that. I am with you. Uh, I was, I've tried to get in on some of these meetings uh, or when they were doing these hearings. Unfortunately, I had classes going on and couldn't get in to speak. And from what I heard from some of the opposition was total, <laughs> utter BS, lies, I mean... It just amazes me is, is uh, maybe I don't really, I wouldn't necessarily say lies, it's just people that don't understand. And that's exactly why I'm doing this. So again, the constitutional carry bill is, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's out. It's not going any further. But what constitutional carry is, is that allows you to carry the gun concealed on your person without a permit so when you're traveling you need to look at other states you know if it's a state where we don't have reciprocity you need to see if they might be a constitutional carry state along with that make sure they don't have any kind of 
underlying little fine print like you have to be a resident of the state to be able to constitutional carry uh, because there are two open carry states <coughs> where you have to be a resident to open carry if i'm not mistaken that is wyoming and idaho or wyoming and montana i i, I don't remember off the top of my head i apologize uh, you can gladly go and look that up but those are the only two states uh, that you have to be a resident to open carry. So those are some things that you need to look at. But again, constitutional carry means you have the right, if it were to get passed, again, this has not gotten passed. I'm not telling you this because it's passed. I'm telling you this so you understand what's going on and hopefully somebody in the media, uh, newspapers, news media is going to watch this and be able to properly explain it because from what i've seen it's not getting properly explained and i'm sorry but shame on you shame on you if you call yourself a reporter and you're not going out and getting the correct information shame on you that's the problem with some of the reporters is they don't want they want to get it first they don't want to get it right and i have seen them where they've explained constitutional carry but they're explaining open carry. So again, let me make this clear. Constitutional carry means you can carry concealed on your person without a permit. But that bill, from my understanding, has not passed and is not getting any traction. Okay? Now the next one that they have out there is open carry. Okay? Open carry, if that were to pass, means you can openly carry your gun. Not concealed. To conceal it, you would have to have a permit. Openly carry. That means your gun has to be seen while you're wearing it. So your shirt or your jacket or your pullover sweatshirt, whatever, can't cover it, can't be in your pocket, can't be in your purse, backpack. All right. Open carry means you have to openly carry the gun. It has to be seen. That's just open carry. You don't have to have a permit or anything like that. Now, currently right now for South Carolina, you can only open carry if you are hunting on public land with a valid hunting license. That is the only one time you can open carry your handgun. Or if you're on your property, it's your property. You carry however you want to carry. It's your property. So that is open carry. Open carry means you openly carry the gun and it has to be seen. So your shirt has to be tucked in behind it, not covering it or anything like that. Now the open carry with training, what that is, is that means once you get a permit or if you currently have a permit and that bill passes, you can then either conceal carry or open carry with a valid permit. I think right now this is the biggest one that's getting the most traction. If I'm not mistaken, it's made it through. Um, it's made it through the House. I want to say it's on its second reading in Senate. I think if I'm not mistaken, they got to do three readings. Uh, the third is really just a formality. Uh, normally, if it makes it through the first and second reading, it normally should pass. But then you still, the governor still has to sign it. So, but now if the governor doesn't feel that's, you know, it needs to be, then if it doesn't get signed, it's not technically um, out there for you to do. So there's still a few things going on with it. You need to be looking at this stuff. You need to be reaching out to your Congress and your Senate. All right. You need to look who that is for your area and reach out to them and let them know you are for these and make sure they're for these okay because there were a lot of republican that were against the constitutional carry which again i just if, if we're gonna sit here and try to make a reason behind it money money talks i mean let's let's be honest okay but i want to make sure everybody understands what is going on Constitutional carry means concealed without a permit. Open carry means openly carrying without a permit. Open carry with training means the permit then allows you to either conceal 
or open carry. But until this stuff is done, you can only open carry in this state while hunting on public land with a valid hunting license or your own, your own property or family member's property or friend's property that is giving you permission to be on that property and doesn't care if you are open carry. That's it. You can, argue, you can argue with me about this and Second Amendment that, Second Amendment. I'm right there with you, but until more of us are out there and letting them know this is what we want, it's not going to change. And it's going to take more than just a handful of people showing it up at these meetings. So if this is something that you want, you've got to get out there and you've got to get talking to your local people. Your local level is where this is going to make the biggest impact. All right. Just to clarify a couple things with concealed carry once you get your permit. If the gun prints through your shirt or jacket or pocket or whatever, as long as it's covered and you can't see the gun itself, you are concealed carry. Yes, even if it prints, you are legally concealed. But now if you're carrying the proper way and you're carrying concealed, it should not be printing. But just to clarify, if, even if it's printing through your shirt or jacket or whatnot, you are legally concealed. But I wanted to get rid of all these myths and misinformation out there. I hope this video helps. I cannot thank everybody enough for watching and supporting the page. Please keep it going. We've got Patreon set up, so if you'd like to really continue to support uh, South Carolina Gun School on our page, please go on there. We're going to be doing a lot more with Patreon and having a lot greater things going on with it. All right, but that is there for you to help support. Uh, any little, every little bit helps. But I cannot tell you how much I appreciate the love and support that we've gotten. Um, it's been a long fight over these past years to stay in business with things going on but we're through it we're doing well we're growing we're getting out there and if you're somewhere not close to south carolina and you want us to train let it pay hey, all we need is a safe place to shoot and we'll come to you but anytime you ever have questions about anything please feel free to reach out to me all of our links will be down below contact information information will be all of them and if you're a reporter please talk to somebody that knows what the heck they're talking about and get the right information so you're not passing around misinformation like I've seen. I'm not going to sit here and call people out. You'll know who you are if you watch this. But again, thank you all very much. Always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.